Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records, and we're reviewing a new album today by legendary rockers, Little Feet. First album in 12 years. First album to feature Sam Clayton on lead vocals. This is a blues cover album. There is one original song by Sam Clayton. Um, <laughs> this is awesome, awesome stuff. It came out today, May 17th, uh, 2024. It's called Sam's Place. Again, there's the cover. This is really good. If you like just good music, you like the blues, most of them are Muddy Waters songs. I'm gonna go through this track by track. We're still featuring Bill Payne on piano, just the legendary Bill Payne on piano. Sam Clayton, who joined early on as a percussionist, um, but is taking vocals here. And he delivers the goods. Um, Kenny Gradney is still on bass from 1972 when he joined. Fred Tackett's been with the band forever, since the late 80s when they got back together. On guitar, we have Scott Sherrod on on lead guitar. And I'm not exactly sure who's taking all the solos, but he was in Greg Allman's band. And he is fantastic on this album. Tony Leone is on drums, legendary drummer. Let's talk about this thing, track by track. Milkman is the first song. Sam Clayton wrote this song. His wife, Joni, did the lyrics. Gritty vocals bluesy um, horns on this, nice guitar work, I really like it. The next song, You'll Be Mine, it's a Howlin' Wolf song, it swings. Sam voice works in that wolfy kind of thing for the blues, slide guitar and horns, kick butt, slide solo, just a bunch of fun. This whole record is so accessible. I mean, if you're a fan of blues or just want to hear some good music, this thing, I haven't ranked, we're going to rank this or rate this here at the end. God, it's going to get a good review. Uh, uh, long Distance Calls got Bonnie Raitt on vocals. I love when a guest vocalist comes on, but they're not overused. She just works into the mix. She's been friends with the band for years. It feels like there's chemistry, slow country, harp blues. You can hear every note picked on this acoustic guitar. I don't know if that's Scott Sherrad or if that's Fred Tackett. Uh, I don't care. I just love it. Uh, don't Go No Further is a Muddy Waters Chicago blues, baby. And it just reeks of, of blues joints up there in a hot summer in Chicago, right where it should be. Outstanding harmonica playing. Can't be satisfied next. Uh, Muddy Waters song, extra cornbread in that vocals. Just got that grit going on. Killer boogie piano uh, by Bill Payne. Um, great piano solo by Payne. Fantastic harp slide. More of the same. More of the same, but you're getting different textures. You're not getting ear fatigue because it's the same blues song over and over again. There'll be one that's slower, then there'll be one that swings, then there'll be one that's kind of creepy, then there'll be one that's, you know, um, dancey. I mean, just killer. Um, the next song is Last Night. Perfect pacing for a mellow, low-down blues. So you come off of kind of a, a you know, a, more of a boogie song into a low-down blues. Uh, love the Little Walter style harmonica solo here. Uh, next song, Why People Like That. You know, they take your shirt off your back, Why People Like That. Um, another uh, Bobby Charles song that was made famous by Muddy Waters. Uh, let's, you know, let's dance. You know, that's how I wrote here. Just a great vocal again by Clayton. Freaking really want to see these guys live. You know, I've seen Little Fee. I saw them in 91 open up for the Allman Brothers. And I saw them probably 10 years later in the early 2000s, maybe again. And I'm like, well, a lot of these guys, Paul uh, Barrera's passed away and the drummers have passed away. Um, I want to see these guys live because of this album. This is really inspiring. 
Uh, and I've seen I've seen Billy Payne play with the Doobie Brothers and Phil Lesh and Friends anyway. Uh, Mellow Down Easy, hell heck yes, is the next song. It's top track on the album. Shake, shake, shake everywhere. Driving tune. Take your top down, go down to Memphis via Muscle Shoals, maybe swing through Louisiana, back up to Chicago and out to you know, St. Louis. So good. Love every single minute of it. And then Got My Mojo Working is a live track. Again, Muddy Waters song. You know, just muscular and and and, and 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 solid as a rock. This album, I don't want to give it a five out of five ranking because I've never done that before. And it's a blues album with only one original track. I'm gonna give this thing a four seven five. This is one of the best records I've heard all year. Um, it just works on the levels that you want to hear. It's it's a it's just it's just really good check out my channel we do shows every day we do reviews every week we do concert reviews we do rankings we talk rock mostly classic rock some blues progressive rock uh jazz and jazz fusion have a great weekend peace out subscribe to my channel see ya